the evening skincare fixed everything we're keeping it real that feels good but at the same time i'm like get it off <laughs> Hi guys, it's Lana here. Welcome back to Lana, Lana Summer Summer Time. You sing about everything. On this channel, I help you get your best curls and your best life. So if that sounds like something you'll be interested in, then subscribe and turn on your notifications. So today I wanted to show you my evening skincare. I hope that you like it. If you do, then thumbs up this video. You gotta tell me. Also, I need to know your skin type. Tell me in the comment section, are you acne prone? Are you oily, sensitive, dry? Do you even know? I've just been out shooting i've got a full face of makeup on as you can see my eyes are looking spectacular in my opinion that is my opinion if you've been on my instagram you know how much i love this look that made this a good day to do a full evening skincare routine because i'm going to show you how i take my makeup off i'm going to show you every single thing backstage access i used to have the acne i used to have the fine lines i used to have the acne scarring i used to have the large pores and stuff like that and the evening skincare fixed everything so that's what i'm going to show you one of the first things that i do is i put my hair up one because i always have my hair up i hate having my hair in front of my face two because my hair has got a lot of products in it a lot of oils in it and when i'm working on my face and we're washing i don't want any of this to then start to get washed out and start to seep down onto my face could cause blockages which could cause acne stay back so i'm gonna take one of my head cheese you can take any headband but i like using my head cheese head cheese is my brand a head cheese is a headband and a scrunchie in one so it's just you know a lifesaver and it's just so cute and now we can crack on quickly want to count up how many steps are in my evening skincare my evening skincare has anywhere between seven to ten steps depending exactly what routine i'm following so today i'm going to follow my normal makeup removing evening skincare routine first things first i need to cleanse all of this makeup off use, use a makeup, makeup wipe. wipe what use a makeup wipe is somebody telling me to use a makeup yeah, wipe use a makeup wipe two for three pounds why get your makeup this off. is 2020 we don't use makeup wipes anymore why because they clog up the ocean and they don't actually cleanse your face we are not using makeup wipes not in this video no uh -uh. I double cleanse when I'm wearing makeup. So my first cleanse is usually with a makeup removing balm or a makeup removing oil. I personally prefer to use balms like this one. This one is from Mulak. Mulak is a cruelty-free vegan formula and it's covered in makeup inside. I'm not gonna be like a crazy YouTuber and like clean all of my stuff to like unrealistic standards for you in this video. I take my makeup off with this so there is some makeup on the packaging. We're keeping it real. So I take a little bit like this. I'm not gonna lie, this part feels kind of like, you don't feel refreshed yet because all the makeup is still there. So not only is it still there, but it's now it's like mushy. So like once I do this part, I'm like, ooh, that feels good to like loosen everything up. But at the same time, I'm like, get it off. But it's all part of the process. Looking hot. Let me go and wash this off of my face. Okay, once I've rinsed most of that with water, then I will take my makeup eraser. I'm not being rough on my skin. This is very, very soft. I like to get into the crevices of my eyes because when I'm using the next cleanser, I won't really be able to get into my eyes. So I like to just make sure everything is gone. Now I'm going to do a second cleanse. So I'm going to use a foam cleanser, a gentle foam cleanser. It's the same one that I use in my morning routine. It's another Korean brand. I have a lot of Korean brands here. I love Korean skincare a lot i haven't actually explained why i double cleanse it's because some of my makeup is oil soluble and some of it is water soluble which means that if you try to wash all of your makeup with water you're going to be left with a lot of oily product and vice versa so the first one was an oil-based cleanse this one's now a water-based cleanse i get wet hands i put a little bit of this on i work that together in my hands you know somebody commented on my video the other day they were like i don't mean to be mean but like your hairline is crooked i was like didn't even notice. I didn't even notice. I didn't even notice. It's been that way since I was born. And then I rinse all of this off. I dry my face again. I love that combination of cleansers because right now my face feels so clean, but it doesn't feel irritated. It doesn't feel dry. My skin feels just nicely, gently cleansed. I actually realized not long ago that I have sensitive skin. So actually I can feel a little bit of sensitivity just here. And that means that my skin is easily irritated. So even drying out your skin to that extent with harsh ingredients, it can actually irritate my skin and lead to all kinds of breakouts. So I like to keep everything very gentle. So now we're gonna move on to step three and exfoliate. 
exfoliant. I pretty much use an exfoliant every day. I know I said in my last skincare video, ban physical exfoliants, but I have one exception and that's literally just like a lemon rub. It's not a scrub, it's a rub. If you guys have been with me ever since I was in Korea, then you might remember this ingredient that I picked up from the night markets at Nongnaemun. This is a lemon detox peeling gel. I'm not gonna use it today because I'm gonna do my normal routine. So I would use this maybe just one or two times a week, but this is just a very gentle peel just to help your skin turn over and become brighter and fresher and stuff like that. I guess this is a physical exfoliant if we really have to put a label on things. Every other day, I'm using a chemical exfoliant. This is like a two in one. This is my exfoliator and toner in one. It's an exfoliating toner because it's with BHA. I love this one. This is by Benton's. I'm all the way down to here now. I've been using this since February. It's another Korean brand. I learned an interesting fact that Benton actually is a play on Benjamin Button. Benjamin Button became Benton. It's kind of cute. So yeah, this has 0.5% BHA. I don't use this in the mornings though because they do increase your sensitivity to the sun, which I don't need. I don't want, I don't, I don't want that. Yeah, I do it with my hands. Some people put this onto a cotton pad and then put it on, but honestly, I feel like it's not necessary. I'm gonna put this on all of the planes of my face. We're not gonna go anywhere near the eyes because that's gonna sting. And that is just a very gentle chemical exfoliant, which just helps to increase my cell turnover in my skin, which helps me to fade acne scars quicker. It helps my skin to look brighter. Kind of just pat that in and I'll show you something. We're gonna sacrifice one of these. That is for the greater good. So I've just put some of this on there and you'll see some people sometimes they'll say that you should use a cotton pad with a toner to wipe away the rest of the makeup i'm like but you could have just double cleansed because toner's here to stay why are we wiping stuff off with toner i don't get it so when i wipe my head with this nothing comes off all the way down to my chin everywhere there's no makeup on there you don't want there to be any makeup at this stage i want to put on some lip balm this is just a huge tub of vaseline i'm not gonna lie <laughs> my lips have always liked vaseline and this is just how we do in this household we buy the big tub of petroleum jelly i know it's not exactly fulfilling your non-toxic fantasy next i'm gonna use is this sparkle ampoule. This is from the brand Tosa Wung. It is actually propolis, which comes from beehives and honeycomb. But this is what I've been using. I scoop up some, I drop it on my head, drop it on my cheeks. Every night and every day, I try to make you stay, but yeah. So now I'm just gonna move this around my face gently and make sure that it absorbs. This one has done a great job at brightening my skin and just giving me a glow that I wouldn't have had otherwise. It just gives my skin something that it was lacking. Now I like to fan my face. I'm gonna use a spot gel. So recently I was kind of put off of spot gels because I heard from James Welsh that they can contribute to acne scarring just because they dry out your skin. Well, this one is not very drying. This one literally just kind of sits on your skin and works its magic, but doesn't dry it all out. It doesn't suck everything out of the pimple and just leave an empty shell. It doesn't do that. Just a nice little spot gel. And I, I think I'm all out though, actually. Oh! Oh my god, it all squirted out. So I'm gonna put that on my chin right here because I am having a little bit of a breakout. I had a facial and I think it's causing my skin to purge just a little bit. Now I'm gonna do my moisturizers. Been in the habit lately of doing my eye cream before my moisturizer. I think just because my nighttime moisturizer is so thick and this little eye cream is actually thinner. So for me, it just makes sense to put this on first. This is an illuminating eye cream from Olay. Olay, Olay, Olay. I don't even think it's anti-wrinkle or anything. My main concern was darkness. Underneath my eyes were purple, red. I just constantly looked like I'd had no sleep. Illuminating sounded perfect and it has worked. Who is this? Is this somebody who gets eight hours sleep a night? Or is it somebody who has the illuminating eye cream? Or is it both? I low-key do be getting my sleep though. I do be getting my eight hours every night. Honestly, life is good when you sleep enough, guys. So I just dab this on and i'm very gentle i use my ring finger because this is the weakest finger and then i'm gonna use my moisturizer 
So I'm feeling really lucky right now because I'm not really dealing so much with acne. However, I am starting to see some fine lines. My 20s are really starting to hit me hard. This is a specifically anti-aging cream from the Alginus that I have been using just for like the past week or so. So this is actually full of vegan collagen. This one is fragranced. It also contains phenoxyethanol and dimethicone. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely on trial with this one. This little tub here is 85 pounds, so I thought, you know, this has to work. This, there's got to be something in this that works. It does just have maybe a bit too many nasty ingredients to make it my fave right now. I know this wasn't supposed to be a review video, but I just want to show you the two moisturizers that I've been bouncing between my evening skincare. They're literally opposite ends of the spectrum. So this one, 85 pounds. This one is about 5.99. This one is paraben free, no synthetic fragrances, no animal derivatives, no artificial colors, no harsh detergents, no propylene glycol, no MEA, DEA, TEA, no mineral oils, no petrolatum, no phthalates, no triclosan, no sulfates, no parabens, no silicones, no EDTA. I should know better but I'm gonna try to use this anyway. I mean I've used it for a couple of nights and it hasn't caused me any problems so far. Just gonna keep going and see if the collagen really helps. Mm, I can spot the fragrance. That parfum. I'm gonna use an oil. I have this big old tub of castor oil that leaks for some reason. I don't know why it leaks, so I literally keep it in another container to stop it from leaking. I found this on Amazon. It's just pure castor oil. So I just take a couple do do dops. I take a drops, dollops. So literally just this much. And I put some on my eyebrows to help my eyebrows grow. Look at the lashes. And then I put some on my eyelashes and my eyelids. I kind of massage that around my eyes gently. And this is for my eyelashes to help them grow. I think it has been helping. I used to have tiny, teeny, tiny eyelashes that you couldn't even see. And now I actually have some. And also this oil treatment on my eyelids just helps to keep my eye area hydrated for longer as well. Also, you can do this, you can kind of push here. Oh, that feels good. Oh, let me show you how I do my hair real quick too. So I literally take this down. So I flip it all forward. And that's how I keep my hair at night. I have gone through many, many bonnets, and this is the only one that can stay on my head all night. It's also very comfortable, does not fall off. This is from my brand Hedgy. I will link it in the description box down below. If you like watching skincare routines on this channel, then let me know in the comment section. Also, thumbs up this video and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I've been seeing your comments. Some of you were talking about you watched a whole bunch of my videos, but you're still not subscribed. Like, sis, have a look at these other videos, which you might enjoy. And if you get to three videos then subscribe how about that join the summer squad summer scribe <laughs> oh crap. bye yeah.